Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to do this very minimal recreational sunscreen makeup look. <laughs> and nowhere in this whole thing did I say that I got this idea and replicated my car shopping face. And you might ask, what is that? <laughs> Shy Guy, my son, and I spent the 4th of July shopping car lots for his new car. And this is how I prepared for an entire day of sunny, hot, black asphalt car lot walking. <laughs> As you can see, it's very minimal. And I'm going to talk to you about why I do this, how I do this, and let's just get moving. As you could tell from the intro, my makeup was very minimal. And that's on purpose because of needing to reapply and, you know, Oh, ease of not having to redo everything for my body aka arms <laughs> let's be honest nobody sees these legs and they'd run and hide if they did because they are chicken white um they're whiter than the rest of me if you can believe that but i will just pick up whatever the store has at least 30 this is a 50 um it happens to be a kid's sunscreen lotion broad spectrum spf 50 and i will put that on my arms what i do for my face and my hands is different and i'm very cautious about it when i'm outside if i'm just staying in my house and i'm not going out then i don't put on sunscreen what <laughs> you see that window behind me there's another one to the left of me those in the kitchen windows are the only windows in this house where light can come in and they've been fitted with uv protection film those windows also used to have light blocking curtains and blinds but since i need to film dracula i mean shy guy doesn't really complain about those oh and fyi <laughs> he doesn't have a problem with the sun he just likes the house dark. On walks, I've told you guys I have that big hat. And um, yeah, that protects me really well. And it protects my scalp as well. But I'm not going to go car shopping with my son wearing that hat. That would be very embarrassing for him. <laughs> and me, probably, I would even be embarrassed about that. So I rely on sunscreen. Now, this is the one that I'm currently using. It, I'm not saying that this is the best one, that you have to go get this. I do like it, though, because it plays nice under makeup. It feels like a moisturizer to me. In fact, it's called UV Super Milk, Moisture Milk. You can't hardly find this one anymore. I bought a lot of them, and so I have a few. Um, it's now in a blue container. I will link that below. It doesn't matter to me, and I'm not here to judge you whether or not you want to use chemical or you want to use mineral sunscreen. I'm just showing you what I do for my own skin when I go out all day long. I've already done all my skincare, and yeah, so this is the last step. You want to make sure that you have at least a quarter of a teaspoon for your face and a quarter of a teaspoon for your neck and decollete. Um, I take what's left and run it on the back of my hands because I also have these and we'll get to that in a second. Just like when you first start measuring food, I encourage you to measure your sunscreen. Just go get you a, a fourth of a teaspoon and pour it in there and see what that looks like in your hand so that you know. And I do know, so I'm just going to pour that right here. So this stuff is like milk, see, so it's real runny. And I know that that is a fourth. I'm just going to put it on my face. Now you want to do this a good 30 minutes before you actually go outside and then set your timer on your phone for every two hours after that. Sorry about the ambulance. Don't forget your ears, okay, because your ears are really exposed. If you have short hair like mine, they're sticking out there for the sun to get. Now, as you can see, this sunscreen looks like a really good moisturizer and it feels that way as well so that's one reason i love this sunscreen i'm going to take another same size and go down my neck and decollete the back of my neck also because my hair is so short that my whole neck is sticking out here and then i just take the rest and go on the backs of my hands this kind of sunscreen actually smells like the pool and I start rubbing this right into my arms. And now I smell like I'm going to go to the pool. <laughs> I wait for 30 minutes before I go outside then. And 
Yes, we have 30 minutes to play with our makeup or whatever makeup we're going to wear, which is going to be very minimal. Oh. What I like to do is take a eyeshadow stick. Now I have a few here. I've got Mally, Thrive, Avon, and these new ones that were sent to me by Lancome. This is my first send from the Octoly Network. These are the Hypnose Ombre eyeshadow sticks. And oh, Okay, yeah, I love them. Of course I do. They're Lancome. When have you seen me show you a makeup product from Lancome I did not like? Probably never. <laughs> and the reason I'm going to choose this is because this will lay down a very quick eyeshadow that is subtle. Now, make no mistake, if you got different colors, because they have 18 of them, and if you got like blue or violet or something of course that's going to stick out more but i want to go for a really basic look and i'm going to keep in mind that tonight i may want to enhance it more the one i'm going to go for here is going to be more of a taupe in this light it's i guess this one no i'm going to go for this one right here on one end you have a sharpener in case you want to sharpen those uh, i don't usually do that i've worn as you can see by looking at the edge i've worn this one a couple of times already and I'm just going to run that all over my lid. Very quick, very fast. It will set down over the entire lid. And that will give me a little color to my lid. I don't want to get too out there with my eyeshadow because why? I'm not putting on hardly any makeup today. And later I'll be able to come over this with eyeshadow and it will, you know, kind of act like a base for that. It's sticky and it dries down really quick. If you have to get ready for work in the morning and you really want to get out the door quickly but have something on your lids and maybe even something you can build upon later, I think an eyeshadow stick is really good for that. So I want to make sure that I have a mascara that is going to stand up and not run on my face, make me look like a raccoon and that is a tubing mascara for me because it takes warm water to remove it but if you want you could absolutely go for a waterproof mascara and i want a little bit of a lash but you know again i'm not wanting to get out there because for me anyway i think that if you apply too much mascara or too much on your lids you kind of got to do a full face because it just looks funny I think it looks like you've been out all night <laughs> and half your makeup wore off that's just me that's just what I like now I'm going to go for my favorite eyeliner in milk I know this thing won't budge so I'm going to put it in my tight line and the reason I'm doing that is because I think it makes the roots of my eyelashes look a little better if I do that, but I'm not going to go into my waterline with it. I'll look away if you don't like seeing me working eyeliner into my tight line. Of course, I'm not pulling my eye up, so I don't know, but I guess maybe it still bothers some people. The car that he got was a Chevy Equinox. And he is really satisfied with his purchase. I think it's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and move to my eyebrows now. And I'm just barely going to do them. I mean, I'm not going to make the effort that I've done in other makeup tutorials because I feel like <laughs> a bold brow and eye here is not, the, not what I want. I just want to, you know, fill in in the front a little bit. And the sunscreen has set down enough that I can do this without smear. And I'm just going to lightly come through and give myself a, a tail. I'm just kind of making sure I've got a little bit of faux hair <laughs> where I don't have any to complete a, an entire brow. But like I said, I don't want it to, to be a really defined brow, just enough that people don't go, where's your eyebrows? <laughs> uh, I am going to give myself a little bit of a bronze with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. 
Not much, just a little. I've got a little more over here than I want. I'm going to use the Milk Cream Blush and Work. The next thing I do is conceal. To conceal the spots that are on my face that I normally wear a foundation to hide. And this was sent to me by YSL via the Octoly Network. I could not wait to try this, could wait to get my hand on it because I've been hearing really good things about this. And you guys know that I am just as much a YSL lover as I am a Lancome lover. And I had not tried their new concealer pen. Now I have used their brightening pen and I love that one. So. You just conceal anywhere that you want with this and it is full coverage. And I have found, even though I don't come underneath my eyes really heavy with a concealer I just won't do it I mean I'm getting up there guys I got wrinkles and stuff and it's not wise for me to just be drawing all over my face with this but I have found that if you just take a tiny bit from it and you work it um, right here I have darkness and if I just bring that and just see that's even way too much and it doesn't it doesn't take much of this and I'd like to happily report that is, you know, if you just use a little bit and do this where you where you need it. Don't be drawing all underneath you if you are my age, because most likely it's not going to do what you want. But this stuff doesn't crease. So I do not have a problem with this creasing, and it stays. I really like it. But raise your hand if you already knew I was going to say that, because when have you heard me knock a YSL product? Um, never. This right here. I'm going to hit that right here. I've got a sunspot right here that's kind of fading away at the end of my nose right there. I'm just basically concealing the spots on my face that I would. And it just takes a dab. Okay, so I got that. I really, really, really like this product. And yes, it is expensive, and I'm sure it wouldn't last for me as long as the brightening pen did, but that brightening pen lasted me like three years, even though it had so little product in it. And the reason is because of the way I used it. I'll show you how I use the brightening pen in a little bit because I'll probably use it on my brows. But I'm just going to take and tap right there in the center. This is more lightweight and less coverage than my Lancome Tint Adol. This one here from Lancome, I love this one, the Lancome Tint Adol Ultra Wear. This one is the one I will conceal these spots with if I'm wearing a foundation and it does not move, okay? But I love this one for like now when I'm not wearing a foundation. I think it's really natural. Uh, for you YSL ladies out there, this is in number one, which I find is the perfect shade to match up with the Radiance Awakening Foundation in BR30. I will also use this concealer pen. This is perfect for this, even better than the brightening pen. This is what I used to use the brightening pen for. But because this is a concealer, I can come up here and do this number and reshape these brows the way I want. Maybe I feel like they're a little too thick today. And also inside here. So that I look more awake. I still want something on my mouth, but I don't want to mess with lipstick. I don't want to have to keep reapplying my lipstick, wondering if my lipstick has come off. And so I'll go for one of three products I have here. This is the Dior Color Lip Glow. I've used almost all of this. <laughs> That's all I have left. This initially goes on and it just kind of looks like a gloss. But like the rest of these, I found that this also must be pH based or something because it will turn my lips pink. So will the It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi. It is a lip gloss. I mean, you can't mess up putting lip gloss on there, right? You don't even need a mirror to do that. Um, this one is the one I like the best. 
and it's by Givenchy, and I cannot say the name. It's like black glitter, but watch what happens when I put it on. See, initially it kind of looks like it's got black. See what it's doing already? It just mixes with my own pH to give my lip color. Anyway, I like taking this one with me because it's really little, and I frankly like the color better. So now this and this will go with me in my makeup bag. Let's see what's in it. This makeup bag, I have another one, but this one only has sunscreen in it. So I have the Kula. This is the SPF 30 setting spray. I have that I keep in there. I have my Peach Bellini <laughs> hand sanitizer and this. I will try and find a link to this and put it below, but it's hard to find. What it is is a container, okay, and it has the brush. See, it's coming out. I need to lock it. It most likely reminds you of the color science and, you know, you just twist this, you fill this up with the powder, which is this, and then you can lock it or unlock it and use this brush later when you're out and about. This brush can be taken off here and washed so that, you know, you don't have a bunch of germs. It just screws off here and you refill it with the powder. I mean, you could use it for a mineral foundation too if you wanted. You wouldn't have to use it for sunscreen. And then you can take this part off and wash it. This slides up like that. You put the cap on. This is in my makeup bag along with this, this, my <laughs> coolest setting spray. This is my sunscreen bag and I'm going to go ahead and put my work in there and my Givenchy lip gloss and I am ready to go. Now because this is all I did for makeup, this is no problem for me later putting this back on in two hours. And I will have these on because no matter how much sunscreen I put on, I really want to protect my hands even more. So when I'm in the car, I'm driving. These are always on. I typically find myself playing the visor game in the car with my face, you know, just kind of leaning around, you know, to get out of the direct sun when I'm in the car. But my hands are always exposed. They're always up on the steering wheel. And, you know, so this is what I do in the car. And the only reason these are in the house is because I went with my son to the car lot. So I kept them in my purse. I mentioned these in a video a long time ago. I noticed several ladies have picked up on these and talked about them. These do not cost very much money. They're also very good for when you use gel polishes. Put these on before you stick your hands in the lamp. Just as an extra precaution, I have significantly faded the spots on the back of my hand, uh, probably as much as they're going to get, but why would I take the chance and risk that? It doesn't make sense. On this side, there's a grip like, so you can grip your steering wheel easily. And I love these gloves. Okay, then that is my sunscreen, no makeup recreational makeup look. <laughs> If you guys don't know it, I'm here to tell you, you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye, and I'm out. <laughs> right after I did my flick. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk on just a broad spectrum book. <laughs> a broad spectrum, a broad spectrum, <laughs> and a quarter of your teaspoon, a quarter of yours, not mine, yours. Use a quarter of your teaspoon. <laughs> Excuse the ambulance. They're coming to take me away. Uh -huh, they're coming to take me away. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun, but I've got sunscreen on me. <laughs> and we're gonna take that. Come here, come here. I'm going to wipe some on you. <laughs> Why? Why do you do that? You go around trying to hide that from the whole world. Now get up here on YouTube and go, chicken fat, chicken fat. Or um, a smoky look. And what is this? It's like gray hair on my face, which is bad because it blends right in and I can't see it. We have to go hunting now. Am I right, ladies? All you silver-haired mavens, tell me, am I right? When you get a silver hair on your face, you're like, where is it? Where is it?
It was like a period after each word. I sound like a robot. Have I ever not liked a YSL product? Thank you, I didn't think so. <laughs> it's a gloss that... I can. I know, I'm childish. 